Uh, gentlemen, please. This, ladies and gentlemen, is an international middleweight contest of ten three-minute rounds between presenting and introducing in this corner, ladies and gentlemen, from Mexico, Juan Elizondo. And from Leicester, ladies and gentlemen, the middleweight champion of the Commonwealth, Tony Simpson. <laughs> at the weigh-in at one o'clock today, Elizondo scales 11 stones, five and a half pounds. Simpson, 11 stones, six and three quarter pounds. The referee for this contest, Mr. Harry Gibbs. The timekeeper, Mr. Ray Rice. So, Harry Gibbs then, just giving them the rundown in his last year of refereeing. So, the chance of Sibo Sibo, the Leicester supporters, of course, for Tony Simpson. 14 months out, and I must say, looked in very good shape at the weigh-in, but now you have to test whether there's any ring rust there or not the weight was good and he's throwing punches right from the off he said this fight's very important to me people wonder if you've really finished when you've been out a while and he's had an elbow operation and you won't get Simpson starting a fight quicker than this one veteran Lizondo he's 35 so he's been around a bit he's soaked up some punches in his time but uh, not from a fellow who's been in the world ratings for some years now Tony Simpson and of course had a shot at Marvin Hagler so there you are he came out to Simpson the moralist let the Mexican know who was going to be the governor the chats we've been having with him lately I've never really known him in a more relaxed state of mind Simpson more determined doubling him up beautifully the left hooks I haven't seen him start like this for a while Jim even when he fought Mark Kaler he hang around a little bit no nothing wrong with his timing considering the time he's been out of the ring his left hooks are getting home all the time the power's there the timing's there this is a, a great start from Simpson He's going it alone a bit these days now, self-managed. He's decided for a while to be under the Frank Warren banner anyway, promotionally. The only time that Lozondo has been around I've seen in Europe, he was beaten in the first round by Nino La Rocca. Uh, that was in Monte Carlo, but uh, La Rocca also had a world title shot with Curry. I'm really impressed with just the, the look of Simpson. He's often looked look just a little bit chubby at times, but no, certainly not for this guy. He's not a veteran in an age sense, 27. You could hardly ride a fighter off at that age. Just that he seems to have been around a long time. 397 pro rounds, to be exact. Well, the Mexican at least is survived that very early flurry there and there were some good shots coming in from Simpson. In some respects Jim I hope for Simpson's sake it goes a few rounds because I want to keep have another look at him. I'm not sure the Mexican would agree with that. Yeah well Simpson needs a few rounds but that's as good as a, a good a start as I've seen from Simpson in a long time. So there you are, there's the rundowns I was saying, it's only 27 and uh, those five losses had a couple of disputed ones among those but they've always been in good company, Don Lee, Marvin Hagler, Kevin Finnegan of course, an old campaigner, but let's talk more about the wins because he's, he gave up the British and the European Championships and still is Commonwealth Champion. Here's Juan uh, Elizondo and uh, been around 50 fights obviously and uh, first time around this part of the world anyway he's plowing his money he says into a restaurant at home and has been uh, a Mexican champion and he made eight defenses 
Well, four marks to only survive that round well. Second out, round two. So into the second round then. Scheduled for ten. Eleven, six and three quarters, Simpson. That's only three quarters above the middleweight division limit. And uh, his opponent was 11, five and a half. Oh, a good left hook that was. And if you don't believe me, you can ask this fella. He wound that up well. And it looks as though he's going to be counted out on his feet. No, he's having another look at him. Gibson has allowed Simpson to come back in. And again, the left hook. And there's no way that he's going to get up now. And they're looking to take the gun shield out. They're asking permission because that's Simpson's corner, man. What a knockout at the start of that round. So I make that about 45 seconds into the round, Jim. What a finish. Yeah, well, what a tremendous performance all the way through. I was more impressed by Simpson's attitude than, than by the performance. I was much impressed. Right from the start, he was back to his old self. It's a long time since, since we've seen the devil in Simpson that we used to expect from him. But certainly that performance had everything, punching power, timing, and a little bit of devil that's been lacking. That's a, a great comeback for Simpson. He's a very likeable lad, and he's stuck his money into some building business now, and he says he's got his enthusiasm back. So let's have a look at the, the reaction again here. And he just ducks that well away, then shots to the body as the Mexican comes in. This is the first... There it is, that's the first knockdown. The left hook again. He left himself open there, of course, the Mexican. And Jim, let's have a look at this second one as he's backing now the Mexican into the corner and it's the left hook again and really that is dead weight yeah. going down into the well, that, that punch was bang on the chin. The first left hook was a little bit high, which is probably why Elizondo recovered. But the second left hook, the second knockdown was bang on the chin. There was never a hope of Elizondo answering that one. That was a tremendous performance. All the punches were first class, top class, world class punches. And uh, Simpson was landing good left hooks right from the start and eventually had to knock his man out. Well, he's, uh, despite being out the ring, he's uh, been, still remains world-rated. He's not kidding himself, he wants Marvin Hagler right away, but he is talking about Mark Kayla, Harold Graham, Ayub Kaluli, uh, who's the European champion, and he'd like to get those titles back because uh, he's had to give them away without a fight. And I must say, uh, it's one of the best nights I've seen Tony Simpson anyway. We, we can't really judge that strength of the opposition, to be fair, but a fellow who's had all those fights, at least 150, can't be any mug. And it's good to see him uh, getting back in the corner and being able to ring, leave the ring unassisted. So it's uh, over to Jim Rosenthal and Tony Simpson. Tony, many congratulations on a, on a tremendous comeback. Do you think things could have gone any better for you? No, I wanted to prove to everybody that I had the left hook back again and uh, the next man wants to be Kalula. That's the man I want to hit next on the chin. I know you've got very high feelings about your own status at the moment. Where do you feel you stand after this performance? I, I stand above anybody in Europe and, and uh, the people here tonight have witnessed that. And I just want to give them everything that they've gave me. It's a pleasure. And I want to give them back the European title and be British champion again. I know you were very apprehensive about this fight, but both Jim and Reg remarked how quickly you got up and how clean your punches were. Well, I just, I just had so much to prove. My back was against the wall. I had so much to prove to all the doubters. But look at everybody here tonight. They all willed me to win. I owed everybody. Everybody who backed Tony Simpson, I owed them everything. Well, tremendous support for you here tonight. Tony, if you just look down here, I think you can just uh, chat us through the first knockdown. Well, I, just, I was just... I got back to my corner. I was a bit nervous in the first round. I wanted to try. I was trying a bit too hard. Ken sat, sat me down in the corner and told me to pick him with a good jab, fast hands to the body and bring a left hook over the top. And it, I've just seen it so clearly. And here's the one that ended the fight coming up now. That was, that was, that was devastating. <laughs> that was a devastating left foot, it really was. Bang, left foot. And that's it. And I think we, we can say pretty emphatically that Tony Simpson's back. I'm back with the left foot. God bless. Well done, Tony. Well done. God bless everybody.
Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Now, Frank, Tony Simpson has made a tremendous comeback here tonight. What are your plans for him for the rest of 86? He's boxing for the European title in... Uh, sorry, he's boxing for the Commonwealth title in February. On February 26th, uh, he's due to meet Ayub Kalulu, who has signed a contract for that fight. So Tony will defend his Commonwealth title against Ayub Kalulu. There are one or two politics obviously involved before that happens. Not for mine, I've got a contract it's signed by Morgan Pally, uh, who is the manager of Ayub Kalulu. And I understand he has learnt, signed no contract for a European title fight, because he hasn't received them. And in my contract there is a clause. And the clause states that, he, that Kalulu cannot box within 28 days of the date we have for the fight and he cannot box on the 5th of February. If he does box, I will put an injunction into the show, I will put an injunction in against Morgan Pally for 